Hello, I'd like to introduce you to the Allet Buckingham range of lawnmowers. My name's Austin Jarrett, and today this mower, I've got to tell you, is the top level mower that we produce for our homeowner range. This product has a, a really huge heritage. Uh, this product was previously known as the Atco Royale, and we purchased the design rights of this product uh, back in 2011 have been making it ever since. Uh, it's, it has a really strong heritage and there are thousands of these machines mowing brilliant lawns all over the world. The reason that they've been so popular is this is really the, what it is a traditional cylinder mower. They're heavy, robust, accurate, easy to use and this Buckingham range as we now call it under the Allet banner is really a very classic machine they're very hard working we call them semi-professional because if you're in a club you're going to get a lot of accuracy and a long life out of these products they're heavy that means they're strong they're accurate again when it comes to setting bottom blades and cylinders uh, but the heaviness means that we produce very strong striping uh, and those strong stripes last longer because of the weight of the machine. There are three models in the range. For the smaller of the large lawns, there is a 20 inch model. That's where we start, 24 inch and this very large 30 inch wide machines for the very largest lawn. The grass box capacities on these machines again uh, are, are much larger than we, on our normal homeowner machines. We start with 84 litres, 96 litres and a massive 118 litres on this big machine. And the weight, of course, I've talked about that as being a major part of the striping ability of these machines. But again, even this small machine is 103 kilos, 111 kilos and 135 kilos. You need to make sure that you have full access to all your lawn areas and sort ramps out because there's no picking any of these machines up the steps. We recommend and give us a guideline for the machines and the lawns that you should be using them on, on the smaller machine here of up to 450 square meters. This 24 inch machine up to 650 meters and this one takes over from 650 meters up to 1500 meters. But to be perfectly honest, with the trailing seat behind, there's no fatigue and the machine is so quick that you can take on lawns much larger than that quite easily. If we just very quickly run through this 24 inch machine, just to give you an idea of the features that we have in this. We start, of course, at the front with the grass box uh, and this is a polypropylene grass box and that's really robust. Uh, you're not going to break that if by bumping into any rockery, you're not going to scratch the paint off it and because it's plastic it sits on the front of the machine and doesn't drum like the old grass box is used to. The grass box is supported on this cradle and that folds up neatly to reduce the footprint for storage. At the very front here we've got the roller. The roller contributes towards the strong striping that you get from an Allet mower but its most important function of course is for height of cut control and we adjust the position of this front roller for the height of cut. The height of cut on this range is really wide and it goes from as low as five millimeters low to 35 millimeters high and that, that is quite an extraordinary range to have within uh, one cylinder mower. The height of cut is changed just by using a spanner to loosen off two screws and then I have a knob at the side here with a gear on and I'm able to just rotate that in order to find my correct position for the height of cut that I want. What I love about this machine is the rake. The rake fits just behind the front roller and that helps just comb the grass. Uh, that stands grasses upright, including those low-lying flat uh, weed leaves, combs them up and presents them to the bottom blade ready for cutting much better than if that comb wasn't there at all. That again is fully adjustable on these two screws so I can be as aggressive or I can lift it out as much as I, uh, I want to get the result that I need. 
The cutting business, of course, what makes the cylinder mower so much more superior in the way that it cuts? Why do they use them on golf greens? It's because of the quality of cut. And of course, you've got to do the good old paper test on this in order to illustrate how these work. The bottom blade on this machine is extremely robust and that's always great as well if we're mowing sticks, uh, maybe even stones, but I wouldn't recommend it. But it does mean that this extra strong bottom blade means it's much less likely to go out of cut. A neat feature on this product is the little stand and I can just by pulling this little knob out, it drops the stand down. When I put the machine down then, the roller is clear, ready for me to do the adjustment. The cutting end of this machine, of course, is about the cylinder and the bottom blade. What makes these mowers different from a rotary mower is this ability to be able to cut like scissors. That absolute clean cut, which just ensures the healthiest plants that you can get. As this cylinder rotates, it's giving 73 clips in every meter. So that's not highly intense and it is a general purpose type clip rate. If you're wanting to mow really at the bottom end of the mowing height on this, then take a look at the Westminster machine, which is essentially a similar chassis, just with much higher clip rate because it has 12 blades instead of six. It's double the clip rate. These machines work hard and they're expected to work hard for a long time, which is why we make the obvious choice of fitting the Honda engine. This is the GX200 engine and that's fitted on all three models. That's 196cc, runs on an unleaded fuel and has a fuel tank with a 3.1 litre uh, capacity. The machines, we love them because of their easy starting, switch on, choke on, fuel on, give it a little bit of revs and it starts first time every time. If we spin the machines around you get to see the rear rollers and the rear rollers of course are just so important from the striping point of view. The rear rollers are steel bearings and each one has got a split in this is a two section in both the 20 and 24. And then for the really wide machine, we go to a triple section split. They're all steel and we also have rubber bonded coatings with traction grips. The traction grip means that it gives it a fantastic ability to hill climb. But in particular, we have an optional extra for this machine called the trailing seat. And the trailing seat uh, you sit on, it steers behind the mower and we need to have great traction from the rear roller because it is pulling a heavy operator along behind it. We go for two sections on 20 and 24 and the reason we do that is because it helps with straight lining to be able to steer the mower and when we turn at the end we don't want to be scuffing the turf. And when we go to the much wider 30 inch, splitting it in the middle is still just not going to be good enough. And we split that into three section and that's got a full differential drive. Uh, that's not so easy to design and construct, but at Alec we consider it to be such an important part of the beautiful mowing that we achieve. From the control centre, the handlebars of this machine, I have height adjustable. So I can undo this knob here and it gives me a range to make that more comfortable depending on the height of the operator but also it's quite important when you're on the trailing seat to be able to adjust that height to the, to the optimum position. The bail bars uh, and the control of the machine I have a little two-stage safety lever which I need to move forward and then lift the bail bars to engage the mower. If I want it with or without cylinder I just have a little control here, pull that out and when I engage the bail bar then that engages both rear roller or cylinder and if I don't want the cylinder driving because I'm going to be driving over gravel then I need to uh, be able to disengage the cylinder and make sure there's no damage going to occur to the cutting area. 
There are two optional extras for the Buckingham machines. The first one is the auto steer seat, which is a real fantastic addition. These machines are quite quick, uh, difficult to keep up with, and if you have a large area, then sitting down and allowing the machine to run at full speed is obviously a big advantage and allows me to cover the ground more quickly. This machine is so well designed, it hitches to the machine in just a matter of seconds. The roller actually steers so that the seat follows the mower all the time. So even when you're going around a flower bed, the rear roller doesn't drop off the edge, it follows the mower around the outside. Really, really clever design uh, and definitely an option well worth looking at. And they fit to each of these machines, but when you're ordering it, make sure you specify the width of the machine that you need this for. This trailing seat with these large Honda engines on these machines will pull uh, the, the trailing seat and the operator up 20 degree slopes. Uh, so be careful, but it really is uh, able to go um, to most good lawn area areas. The second option is when you have trouble with longer grass, you've been away, you've come back and you need to mow the long grass, you can remove the front roller and just put this wheel kit on so you don't lay the grass down before the cylinder comes to mow it. So that is a useful option extra. That's for the 30 inch machine again, but it is available for all three models. So thanks very much for watching. I hope uh, that this video has been useful to you, but please remember the Buckingham range, absolutely the king of the homeowner mower range, really strong, long lasting stripes and a machine that is gonna be accurate and last a very long time. If you need more information, please visit our website at www.allit.co.uk.